Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Pericles and today we get to hear from Pericles in Act 3, Scene 1. He has gone through yet another storm on yet another boat while he's try trying to travel by sea. He's trying to get from Pentopolis back to Tyre because he heard the whole, um, the people want Helicanus to become king because they think that Pericles has either been killed or just abandoned them. So he's going back so that that doesn't have to happen. But along the way, they hit a horrible storm and while the storm is happening, his wife goes into labor. His wife, Tessa, who's the daughter of King Simonides of Pentopolis, goes into labor, gives birth, and then dies. Lacordia comes up um, onto the deck where Pericles is cursing the, the storm. And she's like, here's the baby that's all that's left of, of your dead queen. And the sailors are like, we gotta toss her body overboard. And he's like, no. And they're like, yeah, it's actually, if we don't, then the ocean will never calm down. He's like, well, that's your suspicion. They're like, no, but it's true. We've seen it. It's, it's a thing. So he agrees that they can throw Tessa's body overboard. Um, but before they do, he says kind of to her, even though like she's down below in a cabin and he's still like up on deck or wherever. Um, he, he gets to kind of sort of eulogize her without her physically being there. And he says, a terrible childbed hast thou had, my dear. No light, no fire. The unfriendly elements forgot thee utterly, nor have I time to give thee hallowed to thy grave, but straight must cast thee scarcely coffined in ore, where for a monument upon thy bones the air remaining lamps, the belching wail, and humming water must o'erwhelm thy corpse, lying with simple shells. O oh, Lycordia, Bid Nestor bring me spices, ink, and taper, my casket and my jewels, and bid Nicander bring me the satin coffin, lay the babe upon the pillow. Hide thee, whilst I say, a priestly farewell to her. Suddenly, woman. So he feels bad. He feels bad. His wife has just died, and they're going to toss her body over overboard, and he's like, I don't even get to give her a proper burial. She's going to just sort of rot at the bottom of the ocean with the whales and stuff and then he he sets people about to getting getting the proper things and he needs somewhere to put the baby and he's like where where are we going how far is it to tire like what shore is right over there and they're like that's tarsus and he's like oh never mind tire let's go to tarsus because somebody in tarsus like my good friend cleon who remember from when he was in tarsus before he's like maybe my good friend cleon can take care of the baby and make sure that it is properly nursed because now that the baby has no mother, I can't really take care of it. So they, they divert, they're gonna go land in Tarsus and that's the end of act three, scene one. So game plan, they're tossing the mom overboard and taking the baby to be raised in Tarsus. And yeah, things are, things are not looking real good for Pericles, he, he has horrible luck. But I don't know, come back and we'll see if things maybe start to turn around for him at some point soon. Here's hoping. See you tomorrow for more. Mwah.